What is going on? Uh-oh. It looks like an old treasure map. Yes. And look, it's signed by my great ancestor Sun Yin Tzu, the poet. This is incredible. I have heard his name before, but I have never seen any of his poetry scrolls. Most of his scrolls were burned in a fire many, many years ago. But it is said that he saved some copies and hid them away for safekeeping. Oh, this is wonderful news, a treasure. Reader, go fetch that English archaeologist who's working in the mountains. He can be our treasure hunter. Right away, your magistrate. Soon the long-lost treasure will be home where it belongs. Thank you, my dear Sagwa. What do you think, Sir Richard? If everything goes according to plan, I think we'll find this amazing treasure trove of poetry within several years. Several years? Unless we get lucky. Are you all right, Sir Richard? All right. I'm perfect. I just found my good luck kitten. May I take her along? Cats always bring me luck. Of course. Whatever helps you find the scrolls. I don't know if this archaeologist will find your ancestor's poetry scrolls. He seems awfully clumsy. Not to worry. I am sure those scrolls are as good as... Found. So that guy's a professional treasure hunter? Yeah, and I'm going along to watch him in action. Really? Treasure hunting? Sounds exciting. I'm in. Great. Hop on, Shehu. Let's go. Careful, little friends. You don't want to fool. <laughs> hey, pals, who's that guy making the big splash? He's Sir Richard, a real live treasure hunter. We're going with him to find some real old poetry. Oh, I love poetry. <clears throat> Lychees are red. Kumquats are blue. Kumquats are blue. <laughs> what do you expect? I'm colorblind. Oh, hey, can I come too? Yeah, sure, but let's go. We have to keep up. According to the map, there should be a cave somewhere near this path. Be getting out through this way. 
This is terrible. We could be stuck in here forever. And it's so dark. It's hard to see. I can see. No problem. Of course you can. You're a cat. And since cats have the best eyesight in the dark, I'll be the one to lead us out. Wait a minute, Shagwa. Bats know caves like the back of their wings. My supersonic hearing will get us out of here. I'll lead. Oh, no, you don't. I'd be the best leader. I'm small and quick, and that's what you need in a cave with lots of teeny spaces to squeeze through. Look, we can just take turns, okay? There's a tunnel, and I say we try it. Fine, you're in charge. For now. Good job. No, Mama. 
We did a good job. My eyes, my size, and my ears. <laughs> I believe you call it an Ahu. <laughs> Here's one of Sun Yin Tzu's poems. The moon is blue, and so are you. Mornings are bright, and it's dark at night. Birds are flying backwards. Let's have noodles? <laughs> Must be an old string. No! Careful with the instrument! <laughs> By George, another close call, right, little kitten? <laughs> <laughs>